right, hello. Um, I love seeing all your faces. I can't wait to see so many of your faces in person. Like face to face next week, we can actually like hug and actually be like, you're a real person on the other side of the screen. Cause sometimes it can get so lost in the screen that we forget that we're actually real humans with real lives doing all sorts of real things. So I am super excited. So hello and welcome to our Tuesday night team huddles. Uh, I'm super pumped to have every single buddy, like every single person on this call tonight. Um, and I'm kind of excited about the content that we're going to be talking about tonight. And it's something different than you might think, right? So like, I don't want to like set your bar like super high. <laughs> But like, I think it's something that's really important that I think every single one of us like really, really need to hear and understand. So, all right, before we get started, I'm going to just like a couple of shout outs, announcements. So um, as I'm going through announcements for this week, if you guys have any shout outs, I'm going to pull up my chat so I can actually see it. Uh -uh. Where are we? Okay. So I can actually see if you have anything that you are celebrating, a victory from last Tuesday to this Tuesday, I don't care what it is. I want you to drop it in the comments. Like what is one victory that you were super stoked about that, that happened over this past week, whether it's maybe you were like, I actually stayed strict keto all weekend, or I finished the 10 day challenge, or you're like, I'm going to be done the reboot tomorrow, like whatever that is. Like, what is a um, victory? You did laundry. That's a good one. That was on my goal today. I actually wrote in my journal, get my laundry done. Down 31 pounds. <clears throat> Holy crap. That's amazing. 31 pounds and you bought a size eight pants. That's amazing. Congratulations. I'm making it to hacking better. Yes. Yes. You're coming. It's so awesome. I get paid. Ran my first half marathon. That's awesome. Anita join prove it. Welcome. Are you Tara? Are you new? Welcome. Is this your first call? Yes, yeah, thank you. Awesome. Welcome. We're so excited to have you. Um, yeah, there's so many awesome, amazing things that, you know, have been happening. Um, I know, like, for me, it's like really getting back into the grind. Like, I've been working out like six out of seven days a week, which is a big deal because it's been a while since I've gone down that path. So, like, that's something really exciting for me. I got to meet some of you in real life this weekend. I know Molly, we actually get to see face to face, like people are real humans outside of this. So that's awesome. So yeah, so many awesome, amazing things that are happening um, that literally you guys, like if you're looking, there's always something to celebrate. There's always something to find gratitude in, right? There's always blessings. Like no matter what you have, like it's up to you to decide, like, are you going to focus on the things that stress you out? Or are you going to focus on the things that are like blessing you every single day? Because, and that's a choice that we have to make, right? Like that's something that we have to find every single day. Um, all right. So, so a quick announcement. So we have Keytober is still happening. Um, how many people here have earned five points and you're, you got a blanket. You're like, I done got myself a blanket from prove it. So that is like five people, um, that bought a box in that, or it could have been the tent with, right. It was still including the 10 day challenge, right. Was that still out or just the reboot? It was just the reboot. Um, and then we had, if you, someone signed up with an experience pack, right. I know some people have signed up and there are new people with experience packs. We have all of these awesome things. Um, where people were able to get a blanket, like pretty exciting, pretty awesome. The next level up is a jacket. And then there is also a really cool one with, what is it? 300 points is you get to fly to Kentucky and do a mastermind with BU right there, at like HQ, which is awesome. So that's something to look out for. Number two, level up promo. Has anyone, has everyone seen the level up promo that is going through the pulse and all of that? Um, has anyone, give me a yes. If you've seen the promo, give me a no. If you're like, what are you talking about? Cause I don't care. Yes. Okay. We got one. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So basically every single person on this call, if you are not a champ right now, meaning a rank six champ, 30 K champ beginning right now, going through August 31st, if you hit Pro champ, that's 100K in volume, you and your team, you have an opportunity to earn, there's $10,000 going out. You're going to get $5,000 and then the person who sponsored you is going to get $5,000. So let's say you're, a, let's say you're a rank two right now, you're a rank three and you sign up this person and you're like, let's 
go and you guys both run, then you're going to get 5k and then that person's going to get 5k. Then it goes, if you hit rank eight, it's 25,000. And then I think rank nine, it was, it went up to, I should probably know this. I don't have it. The graphic right in front. Oh, a hundred thousand yeah so then you get 50k and then that person gets 50k so like they're giving out two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars so just think about that like that's insane and it's an awesome incentive so if you get guys getting to rank seven in and of itself the bonus that comes with that anyway plus just getting an additional five thousand like it's going to blow your mind like prove it is literally doing all of these amazing things to just compensate us more. And the things that we have in the pipeline, and I can't talk about them, <laughs> but the things that are coming down the pipeline that you guys will all find out about in a week and a half, if you're at Hacking Better and then when we get home, is awesome and amazing. Like I'm talking life-changing, platform-changing, industry-changing type of stuff that is coming down. And like, I know everyone's like, I can't wait. Like, I don't know if you can tell, like, I'm literally like, <laughs> like it's going to be really awesome. Like it's something I've never done. And it's something that we need and something that everybody, like, it's just going to be mind blown. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited to like be doing this alongside of you and knowing that all of these people that you guys are going to be enrolling from now to the end of the month, like they have an opportunity to run for this and make a ton of cash and ton of money moving forward. Um, that's the level up promo hacking better. Uh, I don't know if anybody is going to hacking better. They're pulsing out the thing for, if you want to do the pumpkin carving contest on Friday, ain't my jam. Travis might do it. He's, he's on the call, but he's sick. So he, he's not showing his face. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's not going to come in through the story. Like, Man. But, um, yeah, like if you guys, if you have two people, you're looking for a third people. The person just got a message draft. Maybe he'll do the pumpkin carving contest with you. He's really good. He'll bring his Dremel and he'll do all the good things, right? Um, they lost me at mocktails. <laughs> so I didn't even see that part. I don't even know what time it is. He can do it with my husband. He's the champ here too. Perfect, Trish. Um, so yeah, so like we have Hacking Better is coming up. And we're going to be, and keep your eyes to, like glued to the pulse. There's going to, we're going to be doing a call here within the next week or so to talk about um, like getting ready for hacking better. Cause I know a lot of you, if this is your very first, your very first event, you're kind of like, I know lots of people are like, what do I wear? What's happening? Why don't I have an itinerary? What's going on? What's going to happen when I get there? And we will cover all of the things that you need to know. Um, and I just want you to know, I'm just really excited to see all of you. Um, so with that being said, we're going to jump into content tonight, um, get started right away. If you guys have people that are missing from the call, like just shoot them a quick message, get them on the call, be like, hey, you guys have to, <laughs> you have to be here. I'm just like really thirsty tonight. Ever had those days where you're just like, you're dying? I feel like my lips are going to stick to my gums tonight. It's going to be one of those <laughs> nights. Keto life all the way. Okay. So, all right, so tonight I'm really excited because we're running into the end of the year. And how many people here are looking to achieve like some really big things come 2020? Some really big things like with this announcement that's coming on next week, like, right? Like you guys are looking to achieve big things. I've talked to so many of you one-on-one -on -one and listened to you and heard what your goals are. Heard what, like, I know people on this call, they have massive goals for Epic. They have massive goals going into... January, they have massive goals going into the end of this month. And so we've been talking a lot about these calls, a lot about these huddles and ways to make them useful. Because the last thing I want to do is I want to get like, as much as I would love to get on a call and just chat and hang out, because like I can literally do that with you guys. Like, I don't want this to be a waste of time. And so we were talking this weekend and um, I had something at my house and I'm not going to share names or anything like that, just because like, it just is what it is. Uh, but we were talking about doing calls that have a lot of tactical things to it. And someone made a statement to me that kind of like really triggered me, like in a good way, like just triggered my memory and made me think back to something before, which I'll share with you. Um, and they said, the reason why we all want more and more tactical things, she, this is from her. She's like, we've heard a lot of the same things over and over and over again. 
we think you're still holding out on some magic secret that you and all the top people are doing that you're not sharing with us. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, like that's why people keep asking for tactical. And so my outcome of this call and for this entire month um, is really like, I just want to give you the magic secret. Okay. I'm going to give you the magic secret that we're all holding out. All right. So that you can close out this month and then you can go running and close out 2019 heading into 2020. So are you guys excited about that? Can we, do I have permission to kind of walk you through all of this? Okay, here we go. So <laughs> when she said magic secret, I, you know, I've been thinking about that a lot. And so I'm running through my head and like made me think back to when I first started on my own like health and fitness journey, like way back before Griff, back when I was, I would say 23, 24, I first moved to Arizona. Um, has anyone here ever, has anyone here ever started a health and fitness journey? Yeah. When you get started, what's the first thing that you start? Like when you're like, gosh, I'm going to start working out and I'm going to, I want to get abs. Like what's the first thing that, where's the first place you go to? Do you go to a gym and talk to someone or do you pick this up and you go to Pinterest and you go to Instagram and you go to Facebook, right? So back in the day before the, before the gram, back when I was 24, cause I'm old, you guys, uh, I picked up my phone and I was doing Pinterest, right? And I was going through all this stuff because I could listen, like I was already, like I knew to work out. I went to the gym every day. I knew like I was eating clean. I was eating like chicken and broccoli and I was going to Subway. <laughs> I was like eating all the low carb Jared things that he was telling me to do, right? Who remembers Jared? Uh, like all those things, right? So I was doing all of this stuff, but I just wasn't at the goal where I wanted to be. And so I would pick up my phone, I would go to Pinterest or I would go to Facebook. So I think Facebook was around at the time, maybe it wasn't. And well, it had to be a Facebook was around, Pinterest was around, right? And I would start like going through all of this stuff and I would start looking through everything and I was like, Oh, wow. Like, look at this person. She's a, you know, she's a bikini competitor. And oh, look at this person. Look at what they're doing. Like, oh, look at this. Look at this thing on Pinterest. It says seven days to a flat, flat belly or look at the banana diet. Right. Does anyone remember see like, is this ringing a bell for people that you're like, oh yeah, I remember seeing all this. I tried it all. Right. That was me. And so I would start looking at all of these things and I would be like, well, why are they successful? And I can't be successful. Right. Like, why are they like able to have this? And like, what are they doing? Like, I'm doing all the things like, what are they doing? And I don't know about you guys, but like, have you ever like gotten on social media or gotten on the interwebs looking for inspiration and you walk away with more insecurities than you did when you went on to get inspiration, right? It's kind of just like what it does for us. We go for inspo, we come out with insecurities and feeling like down on ourselves. And so these insecurities, right? I'd be Monday through Friday, I'd be good. The weekends, I would binge. I would eat a ton of ice cream. We'd go out drinking all night. I'd eat multiple bags of Tostitos with lime chips. Like, I'm not even kidding, right? And I would binge and I would eat, I'd eat Froyo with all the topping, being like, I'm so healthy, it's fat free. Um, and I would do all of this stuff. But at the end, like, I just, at the, and then every Monday I'd wake up and I'd be like, why aren't I where I'm supposed to be? Why am I not where I'm supposed to be? Why am I not where I'm supposed to be? And so I met, uh, my hairdresser who her name is Gigi. Well, she's in Phoenix now and she was a bikini competitor. And I was like, all right, homegirl, like, give me all the deets. What are you doing? And she's like, Oh, here's my meal plan. Oh, here's my workouts. Oh, this is how much water I drink. She gave me everything that I needed. And so I went home and I repeated the process. Now I had all of these things, but then I was still looking on the internet. I was still looking at other Pinterest webs, like workouts. I was still doing all of this stuff and I still wasn't being successful. And I kept being like, what the, mm, like what is going on? And so I remember how, like sitting there with her one day, she was cutting my hair and I was like, all right. And she, I was like, I don't know what's going on. And I literally said to her, but like, what's your secret? And she's like, I told you everything. I was like, no, no, no. I don't look like you. <laughs> what is your secret? You're a bikini competitor. You have abs. You look amazing. And she was like, well, talk to me about like what you're doing. And as I was talking to her, she's like, well, how many days are you going to the gym? 
how many days are you eating like this? Like, do you drink a gallon of water every day? Or is it like, and I was like, oh. And so what I learned is that the secret, does anyone have any guesses what the secret is that I was missing out on every single time? It was consistency. Yes, doing the actual work. And so when we talked about this on Saturday and we talked about this magic secret, like what is the secret? What are you guys doing? It made me think like, how many times do you have all the tools? And I'm not saying that someone can get on here and they might share a tidbit that might shift something for you, but there's only so much tactical skills that we can take that I can possibly take without getting frantic, without feeling like I am spread too thin trying to do a million things, right? Like, I always say like, like, j like what is the saying? Jack of all trades, master of none. Like that's not this business. This business is master one thing, right? And so being consistent. And so when we talk about the secret and like, when you look at people in this business that are top leaders, when you look at Ashley, when you look at my business, when you look at Melissa or Melissa B or Melissa May, or you look at Heather or Ashley Salvatore, right? There's so many people that are super, super successful in this business. When you look at them, the only difference between their business and your business is probably number one. We heard this on a call last night, the number of no's that we've received, right? Like I've received a lot of no's in my lifetime and I'm talking about cold messaging and stuff like that. And number two, you see our peaks, but you don't see the valleys, right? Like you don't see the dark things that we walk through and push through and work through nonstop over and over and over again. And so when there's someone like myself that came and ironed a car in seven weeks and everyone's like, well, what the hell? You didn't see that. Yeah, I earned a car in seven weeks and prove it. But three years prior to this, I worked my ass off every single, sorry if there's kids, solitary day, building a business and building a foundation, learning social media and learning all of these things. So when you're looking at this, right, you think like, why aren't I where they're supposed to be? But like, you don't know, like the growth of the business is how much you're putting in and how much you are showing up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three tips right now to slay October. And at the end, I'm going to give us a challenge. Does anyone hear like challenges? I feel like I have, like when there's a challenge, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do a challenge. So, okay. So tip number one, ready to slay your October. This is the secret, right? This is the secret sauce right here. Number one, the first thing you need to do is you need to redefine success. Redefine success for you. So what am I talking about? So when I was looking on Pinterest and I was looking on Instagram and you see all the fit people on Instagram, all the hot girls are like, oh my gosh, look at the baby, right? And you're going through all this stuff, right? I was basing my lack of progress, right? Or I had progress. I was basing my success or lack of success on what they looked like. Okay. I wasn't focused on the progress that I already had. And same thing with you. If you're too busy looking around and you want what other people have, you want their success. But, and I said this yesterday on the live, like that might not even be the success that you even want. You might base your success on Kendra because she's on stage and she's doing something, but then someone else might be like, basing their, like I used to do that. And this is like an honest story. Like I remember, like I told Kendra flat out, like, oh my gosh, like, I just want to be on the stage. Like I want to talk, like you inspire me to get on the stage and talk. And Kendra's amazing and she's magical and she should be on the stage. Guess what? I had an opportunity to get on stage. Guess what I realized as soon as I got up there, I was like, oh, this is not what I actually want. You can't look, you can't say I want Ottman's business because you don't know what that really is and looks like, right? So you need to redefine success because your business right now, and I want you to listen, is exactly where it's supposed to be at this exact moment for a reason. Your business will only grow as large as your beliefs are in this business, beliefs in yourself, belief in this industry, okay? And so you have to understand that someone else's belief might be a little bit bigger, but you don't know that because you're still doubting and not believing in yourself. So you have to figure out what success is gonna be for you and you have to figure out what that's going to look like. 
Maybe success is showing up every single day. Anyone here have problems in the past, right? Or struggles in the past about being consistent and showing up when you don't feel like it? <laughs> like, hello. Like, seriously, hello. Like, here's the thing. Like, is it maybe it's going to be showing up? Like, maybe success for you is three new customers. Maybe success for you is being consistent, showing up doing the hard things all the time, but you need to define like, what does success look like for you, for Melissa, for Blair, for Christina, for Trisha, for Jesse. I'm just throwing out names. I can see Elise, Kim, right? Like what does success mean for you? And what is that going to look like at the end of October? Because if you're gonna tell yourself that you're not successful, like I would tell myself every single Friday when I would start getting discouraged, what did I do when I didn't feel successful? I turned around, I ate whatever the hell I wanted, I didn't work out, I binged, I Netflix and chilled all weekend long and I did nothing, I self-sabotaged myself. You can't compare your success and you can't define what you, like your standard of success to anyone else because we are all on different paths, you guys. We're all doing different things. So that's number one. So I want you to do, like first call to action is gonna be define success for the end of this month. What is that gonna look like for you? And I'm gonna give a challenge at the end. So don't get too caught up in that. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a challenge at the end. All right, so that's number one. Number two, right? And I got this from my church message on Sunday. You know I love to get all my stuff in that. but the next one is, I want you to practice the practice, right? Practice the practice. So in my former life and business and industry, um, I was a part of this group where they literally talked about baseball players. So anyone here know someone who plays baseball, softball, anything professionally, whatever. You have a kid on a baseball team, maybe they're playing like hardcore. Okay. So how do baseball players practice their swing, right? Like if they're hitters, like does anyone know how they practice their swing, right? Like I'm, yeah, like they have balls shoot at their face and they have to hit the ball, right? Like that's like thing. But in order to get powerful, in order to grow their muscles and really practice, they put weights on their back. And so they would put all of these weights on their back. I'm not gonna keep doing that motion, but they're gonna they put all these weights on their back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and they would put all these weights on their bats and they call them donuts. And so they would put two donuts and they would sit there and they would swing and they would swing and they would swing. And then when they would go to the real game, they would take the donuts off. And what would that bat, what would that swing feel like once you took that weight off? Right. Think about it. If you're like doing squats with this, all these weights and all of a sudden someone took off all the weights, you're like, this is freaking easy. Right then you have to practice the practice, right? And they call them donuts. And so I want you to think of donuts as your DMOs, right? Your donuts are your DMOs. They're gonna be the things that you're doing and you're showing up every single day, right? They're gonna be the things that are gonna help you practice the actual practice. Now, what happens if a player shows up to practice and they're just sitting there and maybe they're like, I'm tying my shoe and they're like, playing with the dirt. Maybe they're like, this helmet doesn't fit right. I'm gonna go over here. And then, no, this one doesn't feel right. Which is the perfect bat that fits in my hand? Are they getting anything done? Are they becoming a better baseball player by doing that? No. You have to actually practice the practice and that can look a ton of different ways, especially in your business. So first of all, every single day, DMOs, right? So think DMOs equal donuts, right? How many donuts are you gonna like slay tomorrow? And I don't mean like actually eat them because don't give me that challenge. But like seriously, like how many donuts are you gonna slay tomorrow? How much weight are you gonna put on your back to make things easier for you, right? Because the more you practice, the heavier the weights are, the easier things become, right? I know, I didn't mean to say you guys, sorry, you guys are doing the reboot side, Trish. <laughs> I am not, I start Wednesday. Um, but like, doing your DMOs every single day. The next thing I want you guys to do with the practice, the practice is every single day. And this goes for everyone. Like seriously, like you want to know why there's people in the business that are ridiculously successful is because not only are they ridiculously consistent about showing up every day, 
they choose to do one thing that scares them every single day. So if you're thinking about life and this is your comfort zone, right? This little thing, you want to know how to grow your business and grow as a human. It all lies outside of that. So every single time you do one thing that scares you, that circle of comfort starts growing and you start getting into those things that are scary that grow your business, that do the things that you're like, I can't believe, like, what are they doing? Because a lot of the times like you guys are sitting here like, and I had these conversations like, well, what are they doing? What are they doing, Trish? What is happening over there? Like, how is this person so successful? Like, what is she doing? And believe me, I don't say, like, I've been there before. I get it. They show up daily. You have the tools, you guys. Like, you have them. You have every tool in your tool belt. There's going to be new tools that come along that make things easier. There's going to be all this stuff, but you already have it. Are you using them? Because if they're just sitting in your tool belt collecting dust, nothing is happening in your business. Does that make sense? So a lot of the times you're sitting there and you're watching and you're like, oh, I wish I had Ottman's business. Oh man, I wish I had Salvatore's business. Oh my gosh, I wish I had this person's business. You want that harvest, but you're not willing to do the roots you're not willing right and what do roots have to do in the ground do they just grow easily or do they have to break through hard ass ground to get through it they got to go through the hard stuff so if you're not willing to grow your roots and do the dmos and do that daily there is no harvest to be had you guys and i'm telling you firsthand experience if the harvest comes before your roots grow you're not ready the weight of that success and the burden that it carries is so heavy it will crush you it will crush you. I've been there and I walk that walk. If you want the harvest, you got to do the roots. You got to do the hard stuff to get through all of that. So that's number two is just practice the practice do your DMOs daily. And then the last one, and cause I wanted this to be a quick call. Um, I want you to practice the present. Okay. So practice the present. And so going back to my health and fitness journey, when I was going through all of this, I, would always be looking through my Pinterest scroll and looking through all this stuff. And I would be going through and I'd be saying, Oh gosh, if I just had more money you now, I, you know, if I had more money, I, yeah, I would totally look like her. God, if I could just hire a nutritionist or if I could get to the gym and then after I had like, gosh, if I just, you know, if I had a kid and I could like get back on track after and have a great transformation and then I had a kid and then I was like, if I only had more time, right? Has anyone ever said that if I only or when I, it will, right? That's not lit. Thank you for being honest, Melissa, right? Like for real, that's not like that's not doing anything for your business, you guys. And that's not living in the present, right? That's not practicing what you need to practice in your present. It's pushing it off down the line, right? So what do you do? What do you do when you're not practicing in the present, right? What do you, what do you, what are you, what are you, what are you picking up right now? And what are you, you're scrolling through, right? And you're scrolling through and you say, oh, she just signed a new promoter. I suck. Oh my gosh, this person, they want, they're like number one on the new volume board. Oh, I just, I'm not successful. I must not be doing it. A good job. Oh, let me keep going through. Oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not valuable. No one cares. I'm not perfect. Oh my gosh, everyone's better than me. I should probably just give up. Has anyone ever done that before? Anyone? Because listen, been there, done that, walked through this fire all of the time you guys stop waiting stop waiting and pushing off you're numbing yourself out by picking up your phone and you're following all of these people first of all let me just give you this quick side note if you're following someone and they make you feel less than not because of who they are but because of what it does to you unfollow them it's not worth your joy it's not worth your joy. Unfollow the people that make you feel that way. And I'm not saying that person's a bad person, but like, if it's me, which it shouldn't be because my life is a freaking hot mess, but if it is, unfollow me. Like, whatever that is, 
It's about you and growing your business. But practicing in the present isn't numbing yourself out, waiting for your business to look like her business. I'm not waiting for my business to look like Kendra's. I'm not waiting for my business to look like Katie's in order to share what I'm doing. But so much of us, we are waiting and we are waiting and we are waiting. We are waiting to get organized. We are waiting to make a transformation, right? Anyone here? And guys, if you guys are waiting to make a transformation, freaking do it. Drink 10 ketones in a week. Drink all the water and make a transformation. It doesn't have to be physical, but make a transformation, you guys, right? You're waiting for next month. Oh, well, I'm going to just finish off this month and I'm going to do this. And then on November 1st, girl, it is on, right? Just like everybody says, wait till Monday. I'm going to wait till Monday to start my diet. Some of you are waiting until 2020. Guess what? Boat's gone by then. You guys got to get going now if you're waiting on that. You're waiting to make champ. Well, like once, if I can have a car, like then people would want to, then people are going to want to jump. As soon as I get that Range Rover, people are going to be like, oh, girl, I'm joining your team, right? No, you're waiting to make money. You're waiting for someone else's business to fall into your lap, right? Or maybe you're waiting for that legend to join. So you're going after all these big whales. You're going after the person that you think is going to bring you the most volume or do all this. And you're forgetting that everybody's business here for the most part is made up of a lot of people doing a lot of little things. And that the more confidence that they grow, the faster their business is going to go too. Stop waiting, you guys. Stop waiting. Where you are now, whether you think I'm not, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not there. I don't have a successful business. I don't have enough customers. I can't do a reboot group. I only had one person who bought the reboot from me last month and I'm supposed to put a group together and how am I supposed to support them? I can't talk about it. I only have one person like, stop. You are perfectly imperfect, exactly where you are for a purpose. Your business is where it is meant to be for a purpose. And if you can believe that and you can dig into that, you guys, you're going to see a massive, massive transformation. So when I'm talking about, like, I'm sorry, I actually wrote notes, which I don't do. So it kind of makes me scatterbrain. But like a lot of us, like, right, like we push off that time. We're saying when I get there, but like we all started someplace, right? What if I waited? What if I waited to share about ketones until I felt better about myself or until I felt more organized or I felt more equipped, right? Do you think, like, anyone here thinks that I was equipped when Ashley Salvatore signed up on my team and brought like 100 million humans in one day? Hey, Selena's over there going, no, she was not ready. I was literally like, I don't know what I'm doing. And for a year, I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't wait, right? I shared. I shared about that. And if I hadn't shared, and if I did wait till I was ready to do more or be more or put a YouTube video out there, which literally had three views on it, you guys, three views on a YouTube video that was grainy. And I think it blacked out at one point. Like it was awful video. Like if I had been like, well, this isn't a good enough video. I don't want to put it out there. She would have never have found me. If I would have waited till my YouTube channel got really, really big, or I wanted it to be perfect to put out every single video, Hannah would have never found me, right? Like, stop waiting. Where you are, guys, is on actual purpose. And the more you push it off, the more you start comparing, right? The less you're going to see growth, and the more you're going to shut down, and the more you are going. Do the things. Yes, Casey, do the things. The more you're going to want to give up because listen to me, like this business, all of these tips, everybody in this call, everybody in this business has wanted to give up at some point and they still choose to show up no matter what. I have people on this call. I know people in this organization. I know myself who are going through the hardest times of their life right now and they choose to show up every single solitary day right it's about that and the difference between your business and if you're wanting to know the secret the difference is not just doing the things doing it with belief and doing it when you don't want to freaking do it do you guys have any idea how many times i wanted to give up on this business like walk away. And I'm being really honest about this. Like we've been through crap. Everybody has. 
do you know that my, one of my best friends from my former business signed up in this for company two weeks after I did, went behind my back, lied to me, took a bunch of people that I was close with and signed up under a different team. Two weeks, I found this out two weeks into my business. She was my best friend. Mm -hmm. Wanted to give up. Or let's say when at like Ashley and Salvatore, I hope she's not on this call, but like, I'm not that I hope she's not, I just know she's not, but like biggest blessing, right? But do you know what it was like to have someone sign up underneath of you when you were literally like, I don't know what I'm doing, who knew how to do everything, had a team, knew how to run a team, organize. She's a freaking beast, you guys. And she soared way past me really, really fast. That's like an emotional thing. And it took me like a year to work through that. And I'm sharing this with you guys to know that like everybody goes through stuff and everybody wants to give up. My first event, there was someone in our organization higher up that should have known me that when I walked off stage, had no idea who I was, but knew who Ashley was. And was like, literally looked past me and was like, Ashley, I'm so, it's like, it's so nice to finally meet you. Right? What do you think I felt when I went and sat down? I was like, shit. Yeah. And they didn't do it on purpose. I love them. Right. Like it's not a big deal, but they just didn't know. You don't know what you don't know. And like, we've been in places where we want to give up. We, there are people on here who have every right to be like, done. Life is too much. I'm done. And they're choosing to show up anyway. Are you, are you choosing to show up when it's hard? Because the secret you guys is being consistent. It's doing the things you don't want to do. It's being scary. It's figuring out what success means to you so that you can keep going. It's practicing the things that you don't want to practice that feel really heavy at times so that it gets easier and easier and easier and do it like more comfortable every single day. And it's focusing on where you are right now because where you are is where you're going to grow. If you're too busy looking at what this person's doing over here and you're like, well, Gosh, like their plant, like their grass is really nice over there, right? The grass is definitely greener over there, but you don't pay attention to the soil that you have, the foundation that you have, the following that you have, the people that are already in your inner circle. You're not going to know what kind of seeds to plant. You're not going to know about the bushes and the trees and like what makes your yard look 10 times better than Joe Schmo next door. It's about being in the present. It's about focusing on things like that. And it's about showing up every single solitary day. And that is the sauce. So like, you guys have the tools. I promise you. I promise you. We've shared a ton of tactical things. But ask yourself, have you taken a lot of notes and been like, that's a really good idea? And have you been like, oh, I just got some good notes. I'm going to put my rubber band on. All right. It's Tuesday night. I'm going to go to bed. Trish won't upload the video for five days anyway. So I'm just going to, <laughs> true story, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm sign, listen, I have no shame. Like, right? Like, and then you forget about it and you don't open this up again. Or you get, there's two, like you want all the tactical things. So you're watching what everyone else is doing, thinking they're holding something back from you. And then you, you feel like you're, you're a jack of all trades, but you're not getting good at any. And then you get overwhelmed and then you just stop. I've been there. I walk that. We've all walked that. Like every single person, I hope you guys know and believe that I know. And the person that got you started in this business, like we believe there is something in you that you probably don't even know about yet, but I can say it. You have it in you. You have everything you need to do if you just choose to go with it. So with that, Right. I said it was going to be quick. I actually kind of finished it somewhat short. Um, I have a challenge. Is anyone up for a challenge for the last part of October? All right. Who wants to put this into practice now? Like, and there, okay. 16 days left of October. 16. Can you show up for yourself and your business for 16 days straight? I'm not asking for 90. I'm not asking for 30. Can you show up every day from now until Halloween for your business? DMOs, write your outcome. What's your success? What is success going to look like for you at the end of these 16 days? Practicing your DMOs, practicing being in the present. And I mean, if you catch yourself scrolling, you guys, 
scrolling and you find yourself in that, oh, what are they doing? I suck. Unfollow. You don't have to unfollow forever. They won't even know. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> People, you have no idea who's following you, right? Like, we don't know. Unfollow them. But can you do it? What is a DMO? So a DMO is our daily methods operations. Reach out to the business partner that enrolled you. And if they don't have it, just shoot a message to me. I have some. And like what a DMO is and what a power hour is, that's up to you and what works best for you. There is no set in stone way of what's right and what's wrong. It's about doing it. It's, and DMOs are not waking up, reading personal development, doing gratitude and being like, I did it for the day because that does not grow your business, right? That's showing up to practice and, and trying on your different, different helmets to make sure they don't hurt your ears, right? So how many, like, do you guys have any idea where your business could be in November if you show up every single day for 16 days straight, just 16 days straight? Do you guys realize that that can make a massive change? All right, are you guys down for it? Awesome, and if like, let's go in our um, daily method of operation, listen to Carrie Underwood's song, The Champion, yes, and show up with intention, exactly. Like, what are your outcomes gonna be? Like, how, what, like, what are you gonna do showing up? Share it in our team page. I will be posting stuff in there. Um, and we're going to go for the next 16 days because I'm telling you, coming out of Hacking Better, you guys are going to be on fire. Like, I'm telling you. And if you're not going, I love you, but you are freaking missing out. <laughs> but we love you so much anyway. But that is all on challenge accepted. Good. If you guys are in for the challenge, right, I'm in in the comments. And then we will wrap this up. And if you're sitting here and you're like, I didn't do any. DMOs today, lie to whoever's watching the kids. You got 18 minutes to get DMOs done. You got this, you guys. And if you guys need ideas what they are, I will post something in our team page um, or just shoot me a message. But I love you guys. I hope this was somewhat valuable to you. I hope we are ready to literally, like, this is the secret. I'm telling you, from Michael Rutherford to Katie Rollins to Ashley, Trish McFarland, like this is the secret right here. I promise you. But I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing night. Um, and I can't believe I get to see some of you next week. So awesome. All right.